Welcome! Thank you for taking the time to be here today. We are Josh Wright and Guillaume Van Damme, the current open house artist in residence for Kettle's Yard Cambridge 2019 and 2020. As part of the current exhibition Linderism by the British artist Linda, we were invited by the team at Kettle's Yard to create an artist-led guided meditation in the house. While we can't be with you in person, we thought we would try to bring the meditation to you, wherever you are in the world. Today, we're doing something a little different, a guided meditation in the form of a visual essay that embraces the calming spirit of Kettle's Yard and Jim and Helen Ead. We have organized the meditation into three parts and used this structure to reflect on personal moments throughout our residency, as well as further investigate the writing of American artist, Jack Goldstein, whose art became a key inspiration for our project, and the music of Nina Simone, whose personal struggles with mental health are lesser known today. We wanted to be conscious of the world we are living in now, which can feel overwhelming and chaotic for a lot of us. We saw this meditation as an opportunity to think about how to stay hopeful in uncertain times and continue to open up this conversation on mental health and well-being, the importance of expressing ourselves and whatever emotions we are feeling. Find a comfortable and quiet spot and close your eyes. When you're ready, we will begin. Beginnings are never easy. The night before, we had spent the evening at a talk in central London at a gallery near London Bridge. The fairy lights hung from the ceiling in neat lines, rows of flickering lights against the glass walls of the cafe. He wore a black blazer and blue sweater. We were both smiling. In the morning, we went to the house for the first time. It was April 3rd. I oddly deleted the first photo from my phone, but the others are still there. The white bowls and little jugs. White brown with a caramel stripe, and a third and a light blue-gray with brown lines. Six shells, neatly turned upside down with their backs to the ceiling like turtles. A glass jug, no. It was a glass goblet with some dried golden wheat and feathers. I noticed a hanging tapestry with bright red, black, green, and yellow stripes, embellished with little embroideries and designs. Another room and another window, a small vase of flowers, and three cars parked on the street. The sky was light blue. I spent the first week thinking about how to make a meditation. How do you make someone feel present or aware of their surroundings when that is all we have? It seemed almost cruel. You can focus on one single object, concentrating on the emptiness in your mind, but after a while, you seem to go crazy. They joked about watering your plants, and here we were three weeks later, almost four. I tried to treat this as an exercise in memory, but inevitably struggled. It was over a year ago, and like everyone else, it was like I had no need for it now. Now that everything was online or could be saved to a cloud. I try to remember what it was like coming to Cambridge for the first time that morning. Was I nervous? Excited? I can't remember. There was a small glass vase of flowers. There were two flowers with large white petals with a light pink accent. And a couple light purple hyacinths. The kind of flower that is usually seasonal in early spring. Some dark leafy greens and a kind of woody branch with no leaves at all. The water seemed so clear, and you could see the brown and green stems bow down into each other. It sat on its own by a window on a white ledge, and it must have been somewhere upstairs, because you could see a shackled roof and a green tree below. I guess it's comforting to think that the trees must be green there now. We will now be taking turns reading mantras by the American artist Jack Goldstein, and if you get distracted, just focus on your breath. 
you'll keep track of time. When you hear a soft bell, you can open your eyes. Sky is the meeting ground for what art and world desire. Art is not about wanting control over your subjective. Art is more about the futility of being conscious of your body in a world that makes your body out of sync. Sensibility is defined by the degree of restraint that is put into work. The result of expression only determines the limits of the self. An explosion is beauty before its consequence. A close up of what can only be seen from a distance is as close as we can come to a true abstraction. Light is the gesture of progress. A far off view of a city at night gives a reading of the pulse of man. Media is sensational. Opticality in art based on media, actuates content. Presentation is all about attitude.
Media is what you represent when you're representing everyone. The culture belongs to everybody. Art should be a trailer for the future. Spontaneity is a metaphor for risk. Dangerous objects are glamorous places to be.